Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking out the Iranian F-14 versus the F-14A. Tell me in the comments down below, are you guys enjoying this event vehicle? Do you think it was worth the grind? And make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're almost at 15,000 subs and I really do appreciate it. Now Swoozy will be flying the F-14A, so go check out his channel. We'll be doing two matches in RB and two matches in Sim. Now both these aircraft are relatively the same. There are some differences and I believe realistically the electronics in both aircraft probably way differently and I'm not sure if War Thunder even modeled that. I'm assuming these both both jets are essentially the same airframe. I haven't put this through any extensive test or seen anyone do that yet, so I really don't know. But what we have done is thrown them in dogfights like these dog like the dogfight video we're watching right now. You guys could sort of compare and contrast, but my conclusion is these are essentially the same aircraft. The only difference that I can see is if you're in an IR or really any fight is the missile ways or the missile weight right like you can see okay i get kachigged here because i manage my <laughs> energy absolutely awfully and we're gonna try this again in another rb match but both the missiles do weigh uh i believe they have different weight parameters right because he has the aim nine h's or the d's i have the aim nine p's i'm sure there's some weight differences and i really don't know them but uh that could be really the only difference, but if we both dump our missiles, which in the sim dogfights I actually do dump my missiles, in RB I don't, um, there, there's some differences. And it, it just really essentially it comes down to skill. Um, the, the margin is so small it really doesn't even matter. Now you can see here I merge at a very low speed. He does to or not a low speed, a low altitude. We both merge at a low altitude trying to get under each other's planes so we can pull into the circle. But what happens here is I was going too fast in the merge and then I overcorrected by slowing down too much. So right now I'm essentially screwed because he's in a full on rate while I'm pulling into a vertical and almost getting into a hammerhead and this essentially screws me over so I absolutely goofed on this fight so now what we're gonna do is switch into sim and do the same thing to see if we notice any differences obviously sim has different flight models but they're essentially the same right the two two of the same jets fighting each other so right now we're in sim we're gonna try the same tactic except this time I'm going to try to manage my speed better because that's essentially key in the Tomcat. The Tomcat's a really good rate fighter, at least for its time when it was uh, released. It has good energy retention. Um, the B model in DCS, I know I'm bringing up DCS, but the B model in DCS does a lot better because it doesn't compressor stall. But in War Thunder, uh, the A model, you know, there's no compressor stalls in War Thunder, so the A model does relatively fine because it just can't compressor stall. DCS, the A model compressors stalls a lot, and that kind of hinders its performance. And of course, it's not as powerful because it has weaker engines. Uh, same in War Thunder, but I, I, that's just something I wanted to know. Um, but you can see here, we manage our speed a little better. We're going like 280-ish knots. He's gotta be around the same speed, if not a little faster in that dive. But luckily, I'm able to pull the guns on and get a critical. And if you guys know how dogfights work, whoever's jet gets hit first, pretty much it's going to be an uphill battle for them. It doesn't matter what the damage is. Um, if you have two skilled pilots and one gets damaged, it's going to be an extremely hard fight for that jet to uh, actually compete in the dogfight still. You can see here, I, I, I actually thought he was going to splash into the ground, but he actually managed to pull through. He got control of the aircraft, and luckily the F-14A has pretty decent AOA and knows authority, and he's able to pull out of that. But unfortunately, I'm going at 300-ish knots. I'm at a decent speed, and I'm able to get guns on and finish the fight. Now, I always assumed, and I'm not 100%, I'm not like a Tomcat dude, or Tomcat crazy, um, I don't know the actual good race fight speed for this jet, but I'm assuming it's got to be like 400 to 450 knots. We're going roughly like 300 knots in these race fights, because I will admit I'm not the most experienced with the Tomcat. But uh, let's try this again, we're going to try to play an energy fight once again, and try to bleed each other, because... That's literally all you could do when you have two of the same aircraft that have pretty much the same performance. Um, 
you know, you, you, it's like putting a Grippin versus a Grippin. It, it's just, it could theoretically go on forever if they get into a turn fight. That's why I like to add limited fuel and limited ammo because these fights can go on for a while if we don't do that. And it also makes the fights a little more dynamic as you lose fuel, you gain a little more maneuverability, but you lose time to actually finish the fight. It's just more realistic. I don't think I've ever actually gotten comments of people complaining about the limited fuel though, so that's good. Tell me in the comments down below if you, if you guys don't like limited fuel in these fights. Um, my main argument is just, you know, it makes it more dynamic. But you can see here that he tries to kill me. I'm at a higher energy state. I can sort of tell that. Um, this is why I wish War Thunder had wing vapors, because you could sort of see when certain jets are pulling super high AOA. It's just another giveaway if their wing vapors are going off. You're like, oh, okay, he's trying to actually pull. Um, there's other cues to tell that, of course, but I, I feel like it would be cool if they added that. Um, but yeah, you can see we're just, we're just at a way higher energy state. He tries to pull a vertical int to cut into my rate, which is something a lot of Mirage 2000 pilots do because they can't compete in rate fights. They'll just go into a vertical and try to cut into the circle. And it actually works pretty well with the Mirage, but when you're in a jet as heavy as the Tomcat, uh, especially with the A engines, uh, it, it it's give or take. You could see he could have theoretically got a shot there, but I tried to pull higher than his nose and he just bleeds all the speed and goes for a dive and at this point the fight is pretty much over i mean i do i believe i screw up my shots here yeah I, I screw them up but again we're in the same aircraft you could make uh if if you're on someone six in the same aircraft and you're pulling semi the same maneuvers you're gonna stay on a six for a while unless he does something funky but you can see we rip off one of his elevators and he goes into flat spin and I start dumping countermeasures because I've died way too many times to people who were pretty much dead by launching missiles. But uh, yeah, tell me in the comments down below what you guys think about this fight. Obviously, I threw an RB, but in sim, we turn things around. Um, again, I do. I primarily fly sim for the most part. But uh, yeah, tell me in the comments down below what I messed up on what went well what went bad all that fun stuff and tell me how you guys are enjoying this event vehicle other than that take care and stay safe and tell someone you care about that you care about them anyway bye